So I'm sure everybody at one time or another has run into a hot hive. Uh, and in my case, um, I had four hives in March that I requeened with queens from Northern California. Uh, and of those four queens, two of them have turned out to produce extremely hot hives. As you can see, I haven't even touched the hive other than the lid here. And I've already got bees bouncing off my veil. Normally, what you would do with a hot hive, if you don't want to go through, through and try to find the queen, is do like I do. I put a queen excluder between each of the four hive bodies and you can wait two weeks. Then you go in and you look in each box and the box that has one has uh, eggs or larvae in it, that will be the box that the queen's in. You can take that box, set it on a new stand somewhere else in your apiary all the foraging bees will go home after a couple of days back to this hive. Then you can go through that one box and find the queen and kill her. And then you can merge that box back into this. At the time that you take that box off this hive, you would take a frame of eggs from a healthy hive or a gentle hive that had the genetics that you like, and you would put it in this hive and allow them to requeen themselves. Because remember, the three boxes that remain after I took the one box off, they will be hopelessly queenless. And they will be eager to have uh, make a queen. And if you give them good, healthy eggs, they will do that. In my situation, the reason I cannot do that is I live between a church and a cul-de-sac. The church has a daycare center with a bunch of young kids running around. I can't have my bees going over stinging a bunch of kids. And back over here, I have uh, uh, several families that have a total of five or six young boys. So what I'm gonna do today is first, I've gotta remove the honey supers, which are the two light colored boxes here. Uh, by the way, this was my best producing honey hive this year. So I'm not anxious to kill it, but it's the only thing I can do. So I put a queen uh, bee escape underneath the honey supers two days ago. Uh, all of the bees that are in these two boxes that have been cleaning out the wet supers, making them dr into dry supers, they supposedly will have gone back down into the hive now and not be able to get back in. There may be a few residual bees there, but we'll, I'll deal with that as needed. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I have a station set up behind me where we will be taking each box one at a time and uh, taking it over there and frame by frame, shaking the bees into a bucket of water, uh, killing the bees, it's soapy water. You use uh, one cup of dishwashing soap for each gallon of water. Um, I have a stainless steel serving tray that holds about three gallons of water. So that's over there ready to go. Uh, and that's what we will do. Um, so let me get started. Let me see if I can get these honey supers off. As you can see, looking in here, there are very few bees left in here. So I'm going to take it over here and use the blower to blow out the rest of the bees so that I can take it in my garage. Okay, so we got the quiet cloth back on them. I'm trying to harvest those things that I can. So that I can use them when I make splits. That's a good frame of honey. That's a good pollen frame. This is about three boxes of bees. I would guesstimate 60,000 bees. So now that I've got all these frames in this box, 
with the bees shaking off of it, I, I still can't ignore the fact that I've got uh, all this brood here that could potentially hatch out. So what I'll do is I'll take each of these boxes and put it inside one of these plastic bags, seal it up real tight uh, so that they can't get out, and let it cook in the sun for two or three days. By doing that, what I'll do is kill all the brood in there and it won't hatch out and create more nasty bees. I'm going to take this high body and put it back over here so that the bees will go back inside and then I can kill them all. This is a mixture of that soapy solution. If you come around here, I'll show you how it, what it does to the bees. I'll just spray these and it'll kill them. I want to wrap up saying, as you can see, it's not a fun process killing bees, uh, but when you live next door to a daycare center, sometimes this is the only option. Thank you to my camerawoman, Miss PJ Lepp.